Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today's class is going to be another 15 minute session called The Slave. The Slave is an important archetype in our culture and also there is examples. There are examples of very very admirable slaves in our history such as Spartacus which is actually part of my lineage because he was a Trashan and that's my ancestry. So there is a few reasons why we can contemplate that archetype today. One, it's on many levels. One is to create a class prayer. Class prayer for the enslaved beings that are still enslaved around the world today. Children, animals, in fact, reforming people that are enslaved, adults, humans. And also to pray for those sentient beings that are uh, under the power of psychotic rulers. Also, on another level is to look at our own selves and see the enslaved parts of our own selves. Sometimes our ego can enslave our soul. And the light, the light, the beautiful side of the archetypal slave is that he would always, he, she would always fight to the death for her or his freedom because freedom is our divine right and we know it deep in our core. We know that we're free beings. So that's our inner truth. So this is going to be freedom flow, a positive uh, thing, a prayer uh, flow, freedom flow in which we're going to pray for the enslaved beings and also look at ourselves, our shadow self, and see the enslaved parts of our own psyche where we are still not free. Because we are on a path of liberation and it is a continuous path. So, are you ready to flow with strength? In when your dreams come true And you got 15 minutes when to When your spare. dreams come true And you're living your life without a care When your dreams come true Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down and bring the hands over the heart. Taking big breath into the heart. Another aspect of the archetype is overcoming tremendous obstacles. Understanding freedom as our divine right and also surrender sometimes. The only way to deal with enslavement is surrender in connecting to higher truth, higher power, divine consciousness. So developing inner freedom rather than outer freedom. So that requires tremendous soul power, soul strength. Inhale into your heart. And let's inhale the hands over the head, lift. Exhale, diving down. Inhale, look ahead of you. Pull the belly in, lengthen through the crown of the head and lengthen the back of the neck. Hands on the floor, step it back, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga, downward facing dog. And breathe. Finding freedom in our breath. I find it that sometimes when my emotions are not balanced, my breath is not free. So working on that level can really free up parts of the body, areas in the body where there is stuckness obstruction, entrapment. Let's look under one shoulder and over to the other side and back to center. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. Exhale the hands behind, interlacing the fingers, open the chest, look up, lift through the heart.
lower down forehead to the floor or towards the floor towards the ankle pressing into the back heel humble warrior exhale the hands down drop the back knee down and lift up again reach up low lunge open the chest Exhale the hands down, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, down dog, inhale the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, open. Exhale the hands behind and really open the chest, lift the heart up towards the ceiling. Finding freedom in the breath. Exhale, lower down. Let's bring the hands down, lower the back knee, inhale one more time, low lunge, lift and lengthen, lift the heart, exhale down, plank to chaturanga, to up dog, to chaturanga, to down dog, inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior one. Bring the hands over the heart and extend your prayer. For the liberation of each and every soul on earth. For a world where we don't enslave each other, but we recognize each other's divine right to be free. Right. Straighten the lead knee, lower the chest parallel to the floor, lower the left hand down, right arm up, twist, triangle. If you can, look up. It is challenging. And exhale down. Lengthening here. Lengthening the chest. Intense side stretch. Great. Plank, Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through, warrior one. Hands over the third eye, extending your prayer. Because the reason why we suffer so much on earth is because we're also interconnecting interconnected and as long as one being is suffering we all experience suffering we're here until the last being becomes liberated and until that happens we're caught in the cycle of samsara and reaching straightening the leg Leveling the hips, lengthen, lower down, twist. And exhale down, step it back. Chaturanga, inhale and exhale. 
inhale the right leg up and open the knee drop the leg behind you wheel not every class will be super uplifting but the serious classes are probably more powerful because they lift our soul and also they make us pause and look deeper into our own selves which parts of ourselves are still enslaved where are we not free open the chest lift 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 this is about opening the heart free in the heart and plank knee in step it through high lunge open open the arms out twist look over the shoulder step at the front and arch hands pressing together release back to neutral hands on the lower back extending the tailbone down walk your elbows in press the hips forward and lift the chest up inhale coming up a quick vacuum hands which works on the willpower center exhale and hollow the belly <laughs> inhale reach exhale dive inhale look ahead of your plank <clears throat> chaturanga up dog chaturanga and down dog inhale the left leg up open the knee lift 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 wow thing open the chest lift through the heart lift through the hips lift and feel the freedom in the heart the freedom in the breath looking deep into ourselves sitting and observing sitting with our own traumas with our own entrapment our own enslavement because none of us that are here in this dimension are completely free so looking into the areas where we're not free sitting with it not resisting it not hiding from it sitting with it lift Plank. Step it through. High lunge. Let's open the arms. Twist. Look behind you. Step at the front, arch, exhale the hands onto the lower back, extend the tailbone down and here you're gonna lift the muscles from the lower belly up, bring them also in so everything in the belly is connecting, nothing is protruding, elbows are working towards each other, lifting the heart. coming out vacuum <laughs> shift the weight onto the left leg grab your right ankle and either stay here lifting the left arm up finding your balance 
or you can go into dancer's pose, another back bend. Release, opposite side. If you're standing here in this part of the pose, extend the tailbone down, feel the stretch in the hip flexor. Otherwise, deepen it. I just thought I'm feeling balanced. And that thought made me lose my balance. And release. Let's shift side to side. If you have wall nearby, go to it otherwise you can do bridge on the wall step <sighs> away from the wall so that you can bring your hands on the wall and then adjust your feet and either stay in the very first stage of a back bend or lower it a little bit walk your hands a little lower and keep your elbows Aligned with the wrists. Take the tailbone under. Hold here for a moment. After working on the breath, this feels really good in my body, so I hope it feels good in yours. And coming up, safely walk your feet away. Take a breath. hands over the heart come back to your prayer surrendering our ego and extending a heartfelt prayer for each and every enslaved being on in this world on this planet to be liberated from their suffering from their enslavement and also seeing within ourselves how we contribute to that what parts of our consciousness we can liberate free and where can we grow where can we heal where can we enlighten thank you all for joining me for this class i hope you enjoyed it and come back tomorrow because i'll see you with another 15 minute flow and it's going to be a good one. Namaste. When your dreams come true, and you got 15 minutes when to spare. When your dreams spare. come true, and you're living your life without a care. When your dreams come true.